WNEM TV5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jason Fielder. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. A man is in custody following a shooting in Buena Vista on Saturday. Police say the suspect and the victim were married. 32 year old Margaret Welch was fatally shot and another victim, a 22 year old man, was injured. The suspect, 41 year old DeAndre Welch, was taken into custody after a pursuit from Saginaw to Genesee County. He was later taken to a hospital for treatment of minor wounds. A mid-Michigan student is stepping up to help her community. Riley Sisko took the money she won from a statewide essay contest and turned it into Riley's Closet, a give and take space for Beale City students. The closet was up and running in September of last year. It has everything from clothes and shoes to shampoo and soap, and it's all free. It's super important because it just it feels like we're going to the next step and now kids won't be have won't have to like go to this little little corner in this room in a random hallway like it's right there and they can go find it and it's it's super convenient. When Cisco, who's now a junior, graduates, student council will take over the closet, ensuring students for years to come have a place to get the necessities. Happening tomorrow, the eastbound lanes on State Street between Court Street and Bay Street will be closed. Crews will be working on utility work starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. until Thursday. The city suggests residents follow the detour setup or seek an alternate route. Now here's John with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Jason. After a sunny Sunday, rain, that's going to return. But we do have some mild temperatures to come your way as we get into the brand new week. Let's talk about the overnight period tonight. I think we're down into the 30s and the 40s. I think most of the evening, even the early overnight period stays dry. But as we get into Monday morning, there will be chances for some showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. Winds tonight southeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we get into your Monday, there it is. We got temperatures well back into the 50s. I think many locations will be in the 60s. Looks like we get a little bit of a break from the rain closer to lunchtime. Could have some more showers coming in by the afternoon and early evening. Seven day forecast. It looks like we'll get a mainly dry day on Tuesday. There could be a shower or two. I think most of the day is dry there. Temperatures are going to be the warmest on Wednesday. Some may have a run near 70. Not going to be out of the question there. Scattered showers, even a few thunderstorms possible as we go overnight into Thursday and then cooler temperatures will take over, but at least we're going to be staying above freezing 50s Thursday. We'll talk 40s into next weekend in the first Warren 5 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist John Groves. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.